Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I'm going to give you an example and talk about why it's so important to train your eye to look for those book finds for the genres and things that you can resell because you get a circumstance when your phone can't doesn't have reception, you can't get comps, you can't get anything to look up. It just happened to me and it's uh, I got some pretty good deals out of it anyway. So um, I appreciate the views. I, I look forward to the comments and subscribe. We'll keep doing this and see what happens. So uh, with that, let's let's just jump right in. So it's been it's been a minute. It's been uh, it's over a week since I've posted anything. I was out of town. Went up to Michigan. Here's Sagatuck. I think it's uh, Sagatuck uh, Brewery. I was up in Michigan with some friends. Had a great time around Kalamazoo, uh, Grand Rapids. Just great time. And then got home and my mother-in-law's had knee surgery and that's all gone good. So we're real we're we're just blessed that that's going good and really thankful for that. And. Um, so I hit, you know, everything's going good. You hit a, thr uh, a thrift store and a state sale. For me, it was a state sale. Big old historic home. Uh, went in. They had lots of stuff, antiques, big furniture, things that, that weren't, you know, my my gig. And um, they said some overflow items in the basement. So you go out this porch, you go around back, and you went in this basement. And real short, I would bump my head. I was wasn't built for a six foot three kind of guy. And went in, and it smelled kind of musky. But then they had. As I get back in this under this house, they had um, you know HVAC and humidifiers going, and there were books. All right, so I look, start looking around, digging around, and I'm finding some candidates. But man, I can't get Amazon won't load at all. I put something in and it just goes loading, 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 nothing. eBay was really, really slow, even if I could get anything on it. So my phone was like useless. And I'm back under this house in this thing, and it turned out these guys had taken books as overflow because they weren't musky or nasty and had just put them down there for some reason. There was plenty of room in this big house. I don't know why they did that, lugging the heavy books down. But, so I just kind of had to pull some things out. And I, I you know, I, they were $4 each, which is more than I usually pay for hardbacks. So, uh, you know, at $4 each, you don't want to just go too crazy, right? So here's some examples of what I found, okay? The first one was this Lee County and her forebears, okay? And I knew this was to be a genealogy book. Lee County is around where Auburn University, Opelika is. Um, so this to me was a pretty risk-free thing. I, you know, I know it, I would at least get 10, maybe 20 bucks for it. Well, once I got out, got home, it turns out that this, this book, um, you know, it's got the standard maps. I found a sold comp on this actually for $49.99 on eBay. Then there was another one listed for over a hundred bucks, uh, and Amazon had it listed for over a hundred, but it, I was going to see if it had any really good pictures, and it doesn't, doesn't really have many pictures, it's mainly just words, but um, there's a sold comp on this one for 50 bucks, 49.99, paid four bucks for it, uh, and there's one listed now, it's over a hundred, Amazon's like 150 something, 125, something like that, so good deal. I, I paid all these four dollars a piece for them, so I, I got five books for 20 bucks, so you'll see, I'll make back my 20 just on this single book. Okay, the next one I found, um, again, you know, this is probably a thin market. The art and ar architecture of the East Liberty Presbyterian Church in Pittsburgh, right? I don't know how many people will be wanting this, um, but it's cool. And this one was um, signed by the author as well. It had a gift inscription. I should say, instead of signed, inscribed. There's a gift inscription to the, to the, to the pre previous owner. This one I see uh, used on Amazon. I don't see any, any no comps on eBay. Used on Amazon, 37 bucks, uh, ranging up to maybe like 69, 70 bucks. So uh, that's a good one. Then I found these three books on organs. And it's, um, the first one was this American Classic Organ by Callahan. And this one, uh, it had a book plate, you know, it says, don't steal my book on it. <laughs> From the previous owner it says um, still this book for fear of shame for in it is the owner's name and when you die the Lord will say where is the book you stole that day and if you say you do not know then the Lord will say go down below so this guy's what the previous owner put in his book so nobody would steal his book but it is uh, signed to his colleague by Mr. Callahan so it's a it's a gift inscribed copy um, Again, no Ebays on this one. Um, Amazon, 63 bucks. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good there. 
Then I found these the other two organ books, and I'm not sure how you. At first, I thought this was maybe another uh, like an autobiography book, but it was this. It says this. If you can read it, it's A E kind of some old Irish script or Gaelic script or something. This um, I don't know how you say that. Olean Alien Skinner Remembered, A History in Letters. Now, this refers to an organ company. It's an American company that used to, that made organs. And again, no no eBay comps on this of any kind. But I have Amazon. This is listed 325 bucks. So I think that's pretty cool. And again, well the guy has his don't steal my book or the you know the Lord will get you. Uh, emblem there, but it's also signed by Callahan, same author as the other one. So, uh, in gift inscription, Amazon 325 with no uh, author inscription. So, I'm thinking this is really good for four bucks. All right, and then the last one, you can see it here. You can see what kind of organ it is again. This, uh, uh, you know, Alien. I put extra syllables in there. I know that's not how you say it. Uh, <laughs> maybe you have better luck than I do, but. Um, this one was by another guy, Smith, okay? And this one was um, uh, unavailable, uh, no comps for it at all. And it's it, nothing sold, no listings, nothing available. Um, I, I, there was a paperback, but I didn't, there were no prices on it. Um, what's interesting is it's by the Oregon Historical Society in Virginia. I'm thinking this is probably the first edition of this uh, by all accounts. And I'm thinking this is a this is a solid, you know, hundred dollar book as well. But no comps. I haven't gone deep on this on like ABE or something else. But for all of these, you know, I only have one sold comp for fifty bucks. That'll pay for my twenty dollar investment on the five. And then I have, um, you know, Amazon list comps for these are it's three, four, five, right at about six hundred bucks. Even if I get half of that, it, I'll be, it should be, you know, at 300. Even if I just get a third of that, I should be at 200 on my $20 investment, which is pretty good. Um, so that, and, and the only reason, again, I'm in this basement. I can't get anything to pull up. And I, you know, I felt comfortable. I, even at $4 a book, which you can make mistakes and it adds up quick. It's one thing if it's a dollar a book. When it's $4 a book, you want to be a little more cautious. The other thing was being in the basement. I smelled of these and they clearly clean white edges, no foxing, no musky smell. These were not stored in the basement. They were just moved to the basement, this underground labyrinth dungeon type basement uh, just for the sale, which is crazy. But they clearly had been taken care of and been in the house. So if they'd been all musky, I wouldn't have bought them regardless. So, um, so the good finds. I latched onto these because you know, I, I didn't have to depend on my phone and my comps, even though I really do love that. Um, but that's why we, tr we train our eye for things to look for that, that we, you know, so that you can make those finds when your electronics aren't available or you don't have cell reception. You know, like I said, I, I go to this one Goodwill down in Florida. I swear it's a Faraday cage. You get in there, it's all metal building. You can't get any reception on it. That's another case. But anyway, that's uh, the experience for today. Some good finds, some good potential sales, the cool stuff I like to put in my store. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, found you know found those. I never knew organ books could be, you know, playing the organ books could be that expensive. But uh, hopefully, might be a thin market. But I'm okay with that at those prices. I'll put it on there on my shelf. One of my shelves behind me there, and they will sell. So that's it. You guys take care. Be safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.